Good evening. The Minister for Justice, Nora Owen, has defended the government's record on crime. It was severely criticised today by both Fiona Foyle and the Progressive Democrats. Fiona Foyle accused her of only beginning to tackle crime after the death of Veronica Guerin, while the Progressive Democrats have called for the Garda authorities to adapt zero tolerance as a policy. The date may still have to be announced, but campaigning is already underway, and the politicians today attacked and counter-attacked each other on the key election issue of crime. The minister got her retaliation in first early this morning by attacking the previous Fianna Fáil Progressive Democrat government for landing her with the problem of early releases and doing nothing about it when they were in power. They have absolutely no record to stand on. When they were last in government together, not a single prison place was built, there was no bail referendum, no legislation to take the assets from criminals, uh, no uh, improvements in the court system, no proposals to put the prison uh, service on a, uh, an independent agency or the courts. So they really have nothing to stand on by way of record. But this provoked a fast and angry reaction from the Fianna Fáil leader. She removed the money for Castle Ray and Mount Joy Prison uh, and for some of our plans uh, to, to start looking at Port Leisha Prison uh, from uh, the book of estimates that I'd left behind. And she, she continued to work in, in an extremely pedestrian way on the whole criminal justice system, the reform of the courts and the reform of the prisons, uh, until uh, the murder and assassination of Veronica Guernan. The Progressive Democrats then entered the fray this afternoon, launching a tough criminal justice policy document. The party defines zero tolerance as a punishment for every crime and wants the Gardaí to implement it. The party promises to build 1,500 prison places with private sector financing, more rights for victims and a custodial detox centre for drug addicts. We believe that uh, law and order, effective law and order, should not be postponed while long-term strategies are put in place and we support those strategies uh, to deal with long-term unemployment, exclusion and drug addiction. Uh, but I think that has been the failure of this administration, is that they have been blinded by a sort of moral confusion. Not surprisingly, the Progressive Democrats' document is strong on law and order with calls for tougher sentences and more prison places. The party does not believe in rehabilitation and probation does not have a role in the party's criminal justice plans. Fiona Foyle has said it will take radical new steps to reverse 40 years of rural decline if returned to government. The party leader, Bertie Ahern, said this would involve relocating state agencies dealing with issues relevant to rural Ireland and taking steps to ensure that money saved would be invested in the regions to create new jobs. The Fianna Fáil leader flew into the West today to launch what he described as a radical new initiative to reverse the 40-year drift from rural Ireland to our already overcrowded towns and cities. At the launch of the party's pre-election policy document on rural development, he said it made absolutely no sense to allow this exodus from rural Ireland to continue. Now, this is the question I think we have to ask ourselves. Do we want to have three and a half million people in this country with about two and a half million uh, living in, inside in cities and the other million taken up the rest of the country? It makes no economic sense to do that. In government, Fianna Foyle would relocate state agencies dealing with rural issues to rural Ireland, would work to equalise the cost of all services from telecommunications to transport throughout the country and would launch a new initiative through the credit union movement to see that money saved in rural Ireland, often by elderly people, would be invested in their own regions to create jobs for young people. The Fianna Fáil leader also announced a new island's development strategy today. In government, he said the party would introduce a cost of living allowance for the 3,000 people who live on our offshore islands. Even if it was £10 a week uh, through the allowance and £10 a week in the supplements, well, that wouldn't be the, uh, the full amount because there's a tax payback. But I think it, it's in around those figures. We haven't finally decided. But we have to do something uh, to stabilise the, uh, the island community. Uh, it is either part of our heritage or it is not. Uh, we believe that it is.